For aspiring skiers wanting to measure themselves against the world's best, there was NASTAR, the amateur racing circuit. My company ran it for 30 years. We had over 200 ski areas, and we had uh, over 300,000 people a year competing in it. I still think I'm the only woman in the club who has two gold NASTAR medals for a slalom. I just love the speed. I love the race. I would get to the top of the gate and I, 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 I'd be so nervous I just couldn't wait for the gate to open. And the minute it would open, I'm down. I'm shooting out. One day I didn't think I did anything and I got the goal. <laughs> Back in the 40s and 50s, there were not too many people who skied, period. And so we were kind of like, um, I wouldn't say pioneers, but it was innovative for, for us to be up there in the first place. And this didn't have really anything to do with black, white, green, or gray. It was just not very many people skiing. And when we saw a person of color on the hill, and we go skiing over to them. Everybody was trying to get everybody together because there were so few of us. There were even fewer black ski patrolmen. None until 1968 when Bertha Pass hired Bryce Parks and Floyd Jackson. Both men, along with Val Tanaka and her husband George, became founding members of the Sippers and Sliders, Colorado's first black ski club. Bryce, Felda, Jinx, Bernice, Jenkins, Floyd Jackson, Floyd Cole, and myself. Uh, Felda came up with the name the first night because she said, we sip and we slide. So why don't we call it the Sippers and Sliders? And we said, oh, that's a good name. So I understand last year it was changed to be politically correct, slippers and sliders. And also the logo was changed. We took the glass off and put a couple of skiers on the logo. The sport of skiing was for every body and did not discriminate against race or age or ability. In 1968, Arapaho Basin launched Colorado's first amputee program under the leadership of Willie Scheffler and Willie Williams. Here, Vietnam veterans and children from the Children's Hospital were taught the techniques of skiing. To get them fully rehabilitated, they must be a part of the community. And part of the community in Colorado seemed to be skiing. Well, the MUT program was absolutely probably the best thing we ever did, and I always tried to make it as, as, as attractive as possible for them. And I would have drinks and girls and, and basket weaving and other type of recreational activity wasn't, wasn't effective. But when they got up to the mountains and could ski, it brings tears to my eyes when I think about it. Near the war's end, the program moved to Winter Park. Hold the outriggers out, Tony! Use your outriggers as a break! It was a windy, cold day. I was being very condescending. And I came up to this one little guy who had been hopping on one leg up the hill and slipping and falling. And He looked up at me with his glasses down here and he was crying. And he said, I hate your guts. So I thought, wow, you know, I'm really making progress here. Let me show you the down movement. Now I move my hips downward and my knees forward. My knee, plural, is wrong, of course. Singularly, I move the knee forward. And they got up on their one leg with their outriggers, and we started coming down the hill. And all of a sudden, they were getting it. And their jackets were open and flying. And I'll always remember the squeals. And I thought, oh my God, they are doing it. And this little guy at the end of the day came up to me and he said, Hal, I don't really hate you. <laughs> so the first day was a real challenge. In those days, it was known as the Winter Park Handicap Program. And handicap is a no-no word, and so we had to change it. So it's the National Sports Center for the Disabled now. It is the largest of its kind in the world. I have traveled around the globe, and never in my wildest dreams when I put my hand up to volunteer, would I ever believe that this would become an international known program? And it was never intended for that. It just happened. 